Yo, what is going on everyone in the XRP community? Hope you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day today as usual. Over the last few days in the cryptocurrency space, we have been in a pullback stage. Uh, like two days ago, I saw across the board the market was minus 30% every single coin. I wasn't even surprised. I just sat there and laughed because I'm going, this is the bull cycle. That's part of it. You have minus 30% days, then you consolidate for a few days after that. Then in a matter of no time, you get back to previous high. Um, Cardano actually just reached its old all-time high that it set in 2018. So congratulations to all you guys with a uh, Cardano side bag. Or even really just the Cardano maximalists. Um, what I really like about this is that this is a respectable top 10 altcoin that is getting back to all-time highs. So we are seeing every single coin here getting to all-time highs, getting to all-time highs. But XRP still hanging at yearly support low. So I do like to see coins rip it here and uh, get right back to the previous bull run prices. Absolutely beautiful. Love to see this with Cardano. And again, it just keeps perpetuating the idea that, yeah, we are in a bull cycle. We are heading in this direction. We will eventually see XRP get back to its all-time high. So um, to kind of put this more into perspective here, we have the total cryptocurrency market cap. It got all the way up to one, I mean, nearly $1.8 Pulls back to 1.38 trillion. Does that really look like a reversal to you? After everything, this whole cryptocurrency total market cap parabolic move, you think that's going to stop it right there? I, I don't think so. This is just a small retracement to kind of build some sort of platform up at these higher you know price levels, higher market cap levels, and then... We will resume getting back to previous high, then breaking those highs and hitting price discovery. So, I mean, look, we got XRP on the daily chart, right? It's basically pulling back into the 40 cent range and like making damn sure that the 40 cent range is really solid support. Because what do we have, right? At 36 cents, boom, got that level right there. At 41 cents, boom, we got that close right there. And then the daily actually just higher load. Right after making a higher high, it then higher lows. This is a perfect, just, it's following along with its trend. And then probably in the next few days here, head right back up to 56 cents. That's what I see happening with XRP. It's, it's just huddling at this very strong resistance on the weekly. It's just huddling there. And we're, you know, consolidating, pulling back, you know, having these little impulses to 50, 60 cents, right? But the main thing is here, we're staying, like, close to this level, which is the kind of the new 30 cents, sort of. The 60 cents is the new 30 cents. It's very, very hard for the market to get past 60 cents on these macro charts right here. And we just keep getting back to these levels, keep testing them, and then we're pulling back, and then... We're getting higher lows, and if buyers end up stepping in, bringing us back to these levels, we could seriously see breaks to all-time high. I mean, other altcoins are doing it. Cardano just did it today. We're cl we're clearly like at the point where this market should be sending XRP back up into the single-digit range. So we're just at that time. At, at, at some point. That pump is going to be the one. All right. At some point, that pump is going to be the one. Uh, by the way, monthly candle closes in uh, just, I think, just over two days now. I mean, it's it's red, but not very strong in the red, is it? So we might be, we, we honestly could see some type of three bar play action here. Back to the 60, 70 cent range. Because uh, we did this similar thing on the weekly, right? We had the, uh, you know, bullish engulfing, weak bear like that, right? Wicks both ways, small red bodied, three bar play. So I'm thinking on the monthly, can we achieve that same sort of thing? 
get that three bar play back to 60, 70 cents. And then, you know, dollar in some change, pull back to the 86 cent launch pad, consolidate there, then make the run for all time high. And then, my God, get to some price discovery, get to some brand new all time highs for XRP. It is much needed. We are on our way to it. It is like, ah, God, we're, we're just waiting. This is a game of serious patience, but um, we're going to get there. We're going to go ahead and get there. So, um, one thing I wanted to kind of talk about, just a little bit off topic here. I know I'm super XRP maximalism. That is like 100% of my portfolio, damn near, is just straight up XRP. Been stacking it for four or five, or no, not four, I'm about to say four or five years, not nah, about three years. Um, but I do think there is another opportunity here in the cryptocurrency market that I wanted to talk about. I did a little YOLO. Uh, recently, I told you guys about the YOLO where, um, you know, I put a thousand dollars into RSR, and that turned into twenty four hundred dollars, and I just liquidated and took profit recently. So, although I am an XRP maximalist, I do like to see other opportunities in the cryptocurrency space, especially considering we are in the next bull cycle. I mean, we just had another altcoin hit all time highs today, dude. This is bull cycle territory, so I am like motivated to uh, get a little side play here in the cryptocurrency space because everything bitcoin uh just doubled its previous all-time high ethereum broke all-time high and is currently just sitting at its all-time high or at, at, at its previous all-time high cardano new all-time high binance coin broke new all-time high polka dot did new all-time high chain link did a new all-time high uh stellar got to all-time high so i see xrp right now Way lower than its all-time high. Like, real, real solid opportunity here versus, you know, you could chase a coin right now. You could just chase a pump uh, that's already at all-time high and try to ride some momentum. Or you can strategically find these coins like XRP that are still way, way down from its all-time high and have yet to kind of have its process, its go in the bull cycle. Still far away from all-time high, but breaking previous market structure down at these lower levels, playing the support game, right? So I see Bitcoin Cash here. Um, Bitcoin Cash's all-time high was like 4,400. Okay, I remember the Bitcoin Cash hype when this thing first came out. It was like, it's kind of like the whole XRP flare thing. It's just both coins benefit from it and both just start pumping. Just because, I don't know, a hard fork, new coin, airdrop, like free money getting distributed. People just start getting super excited. I remember this uh, when this first came out. And yeah, ripped all the way up there to three, four thousand dollars a coin, and just had a brutal, brutal, brutal bear market, and it is still very, very far from all time high, considering the coin that it forked off of Bitcoin is up at the fifty k range, almost got to sixty k recently. I'm thinking Bitcoin Cash here is actually not too bad of a buy, uh, considering broke previous market structure, pulled back below, higher low. Fall by bull confirmation, higher high, pulls back again, looking like it's going to higher low here on the weekly. And I actually, uh, just to be completely transparent, I did uh, YOLO $2,000 into Bitcoin Cash. So I do actually have um, 4.15 Bitcoin Cash. Again, I don't like, you know, super agree with the fundamentals of Bitcoin Cash or anything. I think proof of work coins are going to, you know, kind of be dead at some point in the future. But uh, just from like a strictly technical analysis perspective and just the way these bull cycles work with random altcoins pumping all the time it's just everything is hitting all-time high this is one of those coins still yet to really get close to all-time highs like many other coins in the top 10 top 20 so yeah at the 500 dollars price point did buy 4.15 bitcoin cash and probably looking to sell it just kind of back up here we're just like a little quick profit so uh you know bull cycles really doesn't matter what the fundamentals of the coin are they just they just pump. That's just the way it works. They just pump. And uh, actually, right now on the XRP micro charts, and I know you guys do need to get Burst Watch 24-7 back up and running, we are seeing XRP with a little move on the 15-minute. 44 cents per coin heading back to the 45-cent range. I want to zoom out here to the 4-hour. Looks like we just got done with some choppy consolidation followed by previous high break. Heading back to you know those previous zones. Um, uh, looking good. Honestly, looking good. The daily was just a higher low, and I expect quick recovery bounce to the, uh, the 50 cent range. So, um, 
You know what? Market did dump a little bit, had to do its pullback, had to run its cycle, but um, you guys know how it is, man. Buy the dip. Buy the dip because honestly, look at what look at how far Bitcoin crashed. Is that a reversal or a pullback? Yeah, that's called a pullback. And guys, I will see you in the further stages of this bull cycle.